That's the NeuroDiver. Most people expect a computer, but they're a fully organic life form. They're... pretty strange. But they're an Esper like me, so we have some kind of a bond. Oh no, did I hurt their feelings? This is the NeuroDiver's user manual. Manual putting it lightly, though, since a lot of it is works in theory. But I need to memorize, well, basically all of it to prepare for my NeuroDiver certification exam tomorrow. I've already used the NeuroDiver in a handful of controlled tests with other espers. But I won't have authorization for any real-world use until I get this exam out of the way. So, I've gotta power through this. to watch some TV right now, but I need to focus on memorizing this manual. I'd love to watch... <sighs> I can't leave... Ugh, I hate... <sighs> I guess highly classified documentation for cutting-edge experimental biotech isn't usually turned into an audiobook. The NeuroDiver. Yep, that's you. The NeuroDiver is an artificially created life form imbued with psychic abilities similar to those of human espers. An esper? <laughs> yes, that's me. An esper can create a psychic link between any intelligent life form, the host, via the NeuroDiver to enhance their ability to read the memories of the host. <sighs> Just. Resting Okay, gotta stay focused. The NeuroDiver also allows for the defragmentation of the host's memories. Should any fragmentation exist via any of the following means. Neurological disease, such as Alzheimer's disease, see Appendix 14 for examples. Physical trauma, such as concussion, see Appendix 15 for examples. Psychological trauma. The NeuroDiver also shows promise in reversing psychic trauma as inflicted by Esper psionics. However, due to the wide variety and mutability of Esper psionic powers, there's only anecdotal evidence at this time. Ah. Hey, PS88. Come in over the weekend. Wherever the NeuroDiver is, I go. That's my job as its guard. Well, I appreciate it. And the NeuroDiver does too. I did fine on the field test the other day. But trying to cram all of these facts into my head for the written exam is making my head hurt. You'll get it. You just need to focus on why you're doing this in the first place. Why am I doing this? I sort of have to do it, Gate. My job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a reason you're here at Minerva, and a reason you want to become a better Esper by using the NeuroDiver. Why I want to become a better Esper? To help people. With the NeuroDiver, we can help people recover memories they lost. Memories of important events or loved ones. It's kind of idealistic. But I hope... With the NeuroDiver, I can help someone better remember someone, or something dear to them. Oh, some kind of psychic therapist, then. I guess you can call it that, sure. Well, no matter what you call it, you're doing it to help others. That seems like the right reason to me. Uh, thanks, Gate. Anytime, ES-88. Actually, while you have the NeuroDiver out, I was wondering if you could do a favor for a friend. Friend? Whoa, he's... He's huge! Huge 
ego, maybe. Mrs. Crow. <laughs> wow. A real bona fide esper. I thought you guys were just, uh, some kind of conspiracy theory. Uh, hi. Sorry, I've never seen an esper up close before. I heard you all had golden eyes, but... I guess they're a dead giveaway. Kind of like how I know you're a hybrid just by looking at you. <laughs> Touché. Crow, this is ES-88, our resident psychic therapist and neurodiver expert. Wait, what? She'll be diving into your memory to help you recover what you've forgotten. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's me. Expert in all things neurodiver... ...ing. ES-88 is the best neurodiver user at Minerva. Which is to say, the world. And she was just saying how she hopes to use the neurodiver to help people remember what they've lost. <laughs> this is more of a problem with something I found, but I can't remember why I had it. Oh, hear that, ES-88? A psychic mystery. Can I just, um... Gade, can we talk for one sec? Privately. Sure. One sec, Crow. Take your time. Gate, who is this guy? Just an old buddy of mine from the war. You mean the war during which you were a soulless machine programmed to kill? Hey, just because I was a literal killing machine doesn't mean I didn't make friends. Well, whatever. If I mess this up, I could really do some damage to your friend's psyche. Relax. Crow is tough as nails. Some of the stuff he pulled off in the war, it would be legendary if it wasn't all completely top secret. Look at him. He's built to withstand anything. <laughs> Physical power is one thing. We're talking about his mind here. Potential psychic trauma. Relax. He already knows the risks, and he's fine with it. Right, Crow? It's true. Gate already gave me the rundown. I'm up for it. Really? I mean, if you understand the risks, then... I guess it's okay. Gate pretty much recited the manual on the way here. So, I can say I have uh, an exhaustive knowledge of the risks. In fact. Gate, you have this whole manual memorized? Of course. Anyone who works with the Neurodiver is required to read it. It helps that you actually like to read. And besides, I'll be here watching over you both during the dive in case anything goes wrong. If anything starts looking weird, I can pull you both out with the press of a button. Look at that. The Neurodiver's raring to go, too. Okay. Okay. I can do this. That's right. So, we can get started? Yes. First things first, tell me what memory specifically you're hoping to recover. Sure. It's uh, actually something that happened about ten years ago, just after the war ended. Since our tenure as soldiers was over, some friends of mine and I were doing some odd jobs to get some quick cash here and there. Our last job was selling some information to a buyer in Busan. The details are really fuzzy, but uh, I do remember that for some reason, I decided to give my share of the payout to my friends. But then they claimed that I had stolen all of it for myself. I'll admit that isn't out of character for me, but I wouldn't do that to those guys. And on top of that, I didn't have any trace of any kind of money like that. Anywhere. Not in any of my accounts. So you think they took all of it for themselves and tried to cut you out? That's what I assumed, yeah. It ended up being a real sore spot between us all. And we actually haven't spoken since. For... for ten years? What made you question it now? Well, I was cleaning out my closet and found the jacket I was wearing that night. So you remember the clothes you were wearing, but not any details of what happened? Weird, right? But it gets weirder. I found this in one of the pockets. To be honest, it just looks like garbage to me. <laughs> looks like it, right? But look at this. The information I was selling? This is it, on this chip here. 
but I remember nearly trading this thing to the buyer for the money, and giving that money, all of it, to my friends. But if you have it here with you, that obviously didn't happen how you remember it, huh? What do you think, Psychic Therapist ES88? You think you can help Crow work through his broken friendships? That does sound like a fragmented memory. If you're ready, Crow, we can start the dive. Sure. What do I have to do? First, lift up your sleeve so the Neurodiver can have some skin contact with your arm. Then, stay still and try to relax. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Let's get the Neurodiver out of its capsule. Once it makes contact, you're going to feel something... Neurodiver. <laughs> Don't forget your catchphrase. My... You know, that cool catchphrase you say whenever you start a dive. Oh, um... It's time to... D -d 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 <laughs> no, I was trying to... I guess these are Crow's friends. Uh, hey guys. Wait. Crow? Crow? What? They don't recognize you. This was the first night they saw me after I became a hybrid. Finally cashed in some earnings from the war. Got it. You certainly made a, a big change. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Hulk? Angry that the run is finally your size? I just think he looks like... Like what? He looks like... He looks like a... He looks kind of like a freak, if you gotta know. What? I look better than you, asshole. Hey, 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 no backseat driving! Uh, uh, I'll do the talking for you based on what was going through your mind at the time. So, you're piloting my body through this whole thing? That's right. Well, just sit back and relax while I read your memories. Whoa. Kept you waiting, huh? Sorry about that. Oh, don't apologize, Crow. We just got started. <laughs> Listen to this guy. Three drinks in is just getting started. <laughs> hey, they may call us the old birds, but we can still handle ourselves. Okay, what are we drinking? Hey, now the kid's here. We can order the special, right? Oh, 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 right, right. Take a look at this, Crow. It says, New Year's special. Celebrate unification with the Monsejuka. Uh, what's man's? I think it's pronounced more like Monse. That's what I say. Manse. <laughs> anyway, it means... Oh, you know. Bonsai. We did just get out of a war, you know. Folks feel like celebrating. Did you call me here just to read a poster for you? <laughs> I wouldn't put it past these guys. Hey, you're lucky we invited you out at all. Whoa, whoa. That's enough, Hulk. Um, go ahead and order a round of those, um, Monse Juice Crow. Then we can get to business. Um, then we can get less talking. More. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. I guess I should go order those drinks. Wow, a memory 
fragment, just like in the manual. Why do I remember a giant baby working at the bar? Well, when a fragment occurs, your brain tries its best to make a complete memory by filling the void with something else. There's not a lot of rhyme or reason to what goes where, but usually it'll be something that was emotionally striking. Emotionally striking? Your memories depend on emotional connections to stay in your head. The stronger the connection, the stronger the memory fragment. I guess you have a soft spot for cute little babies. <sighs> anyway, repairing these issues is exactly what the neuro... We'll get to it then. Crow? Any numbness? Nausea? Any small bird toast? Uh, no. I'm good. Four of these Monseju cocktails. Mm, please? Uh-uh. You have to order it correctly. With spirit. Spirit? Really? Monse! Monse! You're saying I gotta throw my arms over my head to get my drinks. We're celebrating, kid. Get in the spirit of things. Monse! Okay, fine. Monse! Keep going. Excuse me? Uh-uh. You wanted four drinks, right? Monse! Monse? Monse! Monse! <laughs> I told you he'd get him to do it. What? They put you up to all that, didn't they? They're always doing stupid pranks like this. Ugh, we got a guy in the psionics lab like that. It's the worst. Here's your drinks. They're already on the old guy's tab. <laughs> Which old guy? Here you go, Sparrow. Thanks, Crow. You certainly were enthusiastic. Now, this one's... <laughs> Here, Hawk. <laughs> Glad to see you can still take a joke. Cheers. Cheers! 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 Are you looking forward to getting back to America, Crow? I think I'll miss it here. I don't miss the war for sure, but I was getting used to the place. Same here. It's been a nice change of scenery, despite everything. <laughs> you two have always been so sentimental. Hey, this is where we all met, after all. Even if it was... Monse! Monse! <laughs> Someone else ordered the special, sounds like. Whoa! I think I just felt something shift in the memory. Oh, hey, that's a... Hulk, shut it. You know the guy who just ordered or something? That's the guy we're making the deal with. Well, excuse me if I... Hulk, what did I just say? So, what's the plan? He's buying information. Um, damn. Which one of us is holding that chip? Huh? Oh. It's, uh... What is this thing again, Hulk? <laughs> it's called a Jiggy. Is that what the guy by the darts is playing? Oh, looks like it, yeah. The game is called Jiggy Choggy. You kick the Jiggy up into the air, and then the next player in the group has to kick it to keep it in the air. Last one to not let it drop wins. Sparrow's real proud of her plan for hiding the data chip, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I am, actually. I hid the data chip in here so it'd be less conspicuous of a handoff. Well, all you're bragging about it is making it pretty conspicuous. <laughs> Fine. So that's it. Give this Jeggy to that guy who just walked in? Yep, and he's gonna give us a big pile of money. Simple a deal as they come. Looks like he's taking a seat up by the darts. Yep, you got this, Crow. 
I got this? You're probably the only one in the right um, state of mind to put state of mind. I mean, uh, we, and besides, with your new modifications, you're. Hey, 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 hey! What's that supposed to mean? I'm just as intimidating as Crow. <laughs> even if you were, you're not even half as so. Here, Crow. We'll head out once you sit down with the buyer. We'll meet you later at the usual rendezvous spot. Another fragment! This is what? the second time a child has come up in a fragment for you. Crow, you really take a shine to kids, huh? I... Uh... I bet you used your cat-like reflexes to swat the kite out of the tree for him. I did help him, yeah. Didn't even thank me, he just ran off. Guess I scared him away. Scared of you? Can we get back to fixing my mind here, please? Right, sorry. Pop is supposed to be a mustached man. A uh, duck with a hat? Eh, I'll go with. This must be that Jeki Chagi game that cro. You want in on this? Come on, I'll play you for a round of drinks. Maybe something this person said or did. Just keep it off the ground, right? First one to drop the Jeggy blue. You've got it. Sure. Oh, you got me. So all that what's a Jeggy stuff? Think you were bluffing, huh? Are you some kind of Jeggy Chaggy shark? Honestly, I've never played before. Well, either way. Seems like I owe you a drink. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. I'm actually here with... What the hell is he doing up there? <sighs> Hawk, keep it down. You're being way too conspicuous. You're being too conspic... Cons... So you're already here with some... friends? Yeah, I... Uh... No problem, really. I was actually on my way out. Why don't you take this Jeggy as a souvenir? Uh, thanks. Thanks. I'll beat you next time. You got that? Wow, Crow is way smoother with random bar encounters than I could ever hope to be. Another fr- This is what? the second time a child has come up in a- Crow. I- I bet- I did help, didn't- Scare- Can we- Right. Yes, that was it. At least I think Crow? What? Who the hell is that? Wait, you mean you I sitting at the t Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I don't like this. Hey, I, uh... Let me guess. How... How did I know what you were going to ask? Well, Crow. Oh, lovely. I have your interest, and you... Come, have a seat. Let's, uh, get this trait. Do I make you uneasy, Crow? Does it seem like I know too much? Normally, I don't talk feelings with clients, but, uh... Yeah, man. You're freaking me out a little. Do you know what an Esper is, Crow? I really don't care. I just want to get this deal done, okay? You should never deprive yourself of education. <laughs> you never know. I'm just here to make a sale. That's it. An Esper is an individual who possesses psychic, each one unique, each one varying in power level. 
Espers as we know them are the randomly occurring. With some espers not, but there have been many advances in the study of esper. There's now information on how to produce them. And that crow is the information. But to me, this information is only as good as the money you're willing to give me for. So, uh, can we just... Oh, but you miss her. And why would I do that? Because I'm an esper myself, crow. Granted, not... No interrupting my monologue! The information you've concealed in that jeggy, cute trick by the way, will allow me to realize my full potential. That said, even in my current state, I do have enough power to make you believe that we had an exchange as planned, when in fact, you simply gave me the information for free. All right, this is a big weird hassle, I'm out. <laughs> I've been writing you a new set of memories about this night for our entire conversation. It's amazing how much of our reality is shaped by our memories of it. Mm. Don't know why I'm even telling you all this. It's not as if you'll remember it. What? Whoa! What's happening? He really did start to rewrite your memory. But he's, uh, pretty bad at it. No wonder your memory is so messed up. The link with the neurodiver is destabilized. You two okay? I'm fine. Crow? I feel like I have brain freeze, but yeah. Seems like I and my mind are still in one piece. Did you end the dive gate? From out here? The neurodiver was looking a little sick. So I gently pulled them off and put them back in the capsule to rest. So, did you get to the bottom of Crow's information exchange? It wasn't so much an exchange as a psychic mugging. That idiot. After all that posturing, he must have taken the wrong jeggy. In my other pocket. You think he got to the old birds too? Explains their half of the story not matching mine. Definitely. His power seemed pretty crude, but they obviously were effective if it worked on you for so long. Well... At least this information is worth something, right? The stuff we were going to sell for all that money. Well, uh... Creating an Esper. Seems like some pretty serious tech, right? Yeah, but it's been ten years, remember? Since then, Minerva's basically perfected the science behind Espers. In fact, the information you have is likely the predecessor to the Neurodiver. It's the first completely synthetic Esper, you know? If that information was in the back of your closet for ten years, it sounds like you did Minerva a favor and kept it from leaking to our competitors for all that time. Huh. Figures. Well, it wasn't the information I was after in the first place. I'm gonna see if I can get in contact with the old birds. They probably won't believe what I tell them, so I hope you don't mind if I send them your way to get their memory set straight. I'd be happy to help. It feels like I'm really getting the hang of this thing now. I knew some field work was what you needed. Thanks for being our guinea pig, Crow. So, we're square after that poker game? <laughs> poker! See you two around. What now, you say, Gate? Bye. No, you were right, Gate. Doing a real dive made me feel a lot better about this test. Well, it's not exactly Busan, but... You want to go down the street for some drinks? Oh, I should still get some rest before the big test. Huh. A true company woman, aren't you, Edith? I think we're officially off hours now. You don't have to use my code name. <laughs> you got it, Luna. Come on. I'll at least walk you home then. Okay. <laughs> don't forget to take the neurodiver with you.